In this series we would like to help you to choose and get to know the dog breed which is perfect for you. In every part we will introduce and show you one dog breed and tell you the most important 7 facts which can be important and help you in choosing the right breed for you. If there are dog breeds that you are interested in and we have not talked about them, write to us in a comment and we will make film about this breed as well. If you do not want to miss any parts of the series, please subscribe for our channel and do not forget to push the bell button. In this part we will talk about the American Staffordshire Terrier, or in shorter name, the Amstaffs, which are quite divisive breed among dog lovers. There are those who love this breed and are obsessed in connection with them and others, who fear from them and usually want the prohibition of this breed. The second group, who usually know quite little about Amstaffs, frequently miss them with other breeds, like the Pitbull Terrier. Maybe this film will help them as well, so share it if you can. Let's us review the most important 7 facts in connection with Amstaffs that you have to think over before you buy an Amstaff puppy. In the last point it will turn out whether the Amstaffs are okay for first time dog owners and we will tell you what the next part will be about. 1. The Short History of Amstaffs The precessors of Amstaffs were bred in the 1800s in England and it is quite probable that the basis was the mixture of bulldogs. English Terriers and Black and Tan Terriers. These dogs were primarily used for dog fighting and personal protection at that time. These dogs traveled to the New World together with their immigrant owners where their tasks and outlook were partly changed. They became working dogs on farms, they protected territories and families and of course they were used for dog fights as well, but less frequently. Because of their tasks their size has become larger and they had to find their places in the farmer families. Their final name and standard was accepted by the AKC in 1988. 2. The Personality of Amstaffs The Amstaffs are a middle-sized, very intelligent and active breed. In spite of their size, they are very strong with good physical capabilities and self-confidence. They fear nothing and quite friendly with people. They are a family-oriented dog breed and often called nanny dog, because of their love for children. In spite of public fears, it is not common among Stamstaffs to attack people. In the USA the statistics of deadly human bites does not even show the Amstaffs in the first 10 places, against for example with pit bull terriers. At the same time we have to mention that a badly socialized Amstaff can be very dangerous for other dogs because of their past. Amstaffs are always ready for a fight and they have their physical capabilities for it. 3. Amstaff Size and Fur Amstaffs are usually between 43 to 49 centimeters shoulder height and 25 to 35 kilograms of weight. Their fur is shiny, short, dense and stiff. A lot of colors are allowed and accepted, from black, red, black and tan, blue to brindle. They fur do not require special care, they tolerate warm weather well, but do not like cold weather. 4. The Trainability of Amstaffs Besides the American Bulldog breed the Amstaffs were the second bully breed who was basically bred and selected for a working dog. For this reason, they have a well-balanced nervous system and they can be trained easily. They learn quickly and with joy, specifically enjoying the time they spend studying with their master. Its training requires more than average experience, as the personality of the Terrier's ancestors, they have a stubborn trait. Due to their great power and dominance, early socialization is paramount for Amstaff, this way subsequent conflicts can be prevented and Amstaffs will become a trusted, obedient and reliable partner. 5. The Activity of Amstaffs The Amstaff is an energetic, explosive, active breed. All forms of movement are a pleasure for them, they are excellent in dog sports, guard training trainings, tug of war, weightlifting and we have already seen Amstaff climbing trees. They fit alongside specifically active people, by no means should someone buy an Amstaff who can't satisfy their need for movement, because that's likely to lead to deviances. 
Strengthening their aggressive instincts is very undesirable for this breed, it can lead to a sad and tragic end result. 6. Amstaff Health and Lifespan The Amstaff is a dog of excellent health. Amstaff from a good breeders can live healthy for a long time, their lifespan typically exceeds 12 years. Dysplasia, allergies and ataxia, an inherited nervous system disease, a disorder of muscle movement coordination, can sometimes occur, but parents can be screened for this. No other characteristic disease is known amongst them. 7. Amstaffs for first-time owners? Due to their immense strength, dominance and high movement requirements, we do not recommend Amstaffs for first-time owners. In order for an Amstaff to become a good working dog and an ideal companion and not be aggressive with other dogs, experience and practice are required. If you have this, Amstaffs are a seriously recommended breed from our part. Amstaff is not appropriate for a nerveless, insecure, or a person who miss self-confidence, in such hands a large, 35 kg, dominant muscle ball causes frustration rather than pleasure, and that is not the goal. At the same time, we would disapprove of the breed for those who want to live and express their own aggression through their dogs. Usually, the consequence of such a situation caused the majority of bite cases inflated by the press, which significantly and unfairly destroys the nimbus of the breed. According to your request, the next part of the series will cover 7 important facts about about the Rottweilers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and write to us which other dog breeds you would like to see later. Thank you very much for your attention.